Hi there. It is kind of still the middle of November and I'm gonna just film some potato reveals this afternoon. Uh, we've had some decent weather for this really crappy weather year. And so this is about as dry as the soil is going to get. So I'm going to try and bang out all of these potatoes I've been leaving in the TPS plot and try and get them dug. Because if I don't do it now, I might not get it done, you know, so. Okay, starting in the Sarpomira Mix F2s, I wanted to dig this plant for sure. I have this flag here that I set here to mark. There's a red potato. Because when we dug a plant here, I had actually dug up a bunch of these red potatoes with it and I kind of reburied them right here. So we'll do that first. Bright red potatoes. Not seeing any vole damage on them. I think it's a pretty long stolenizer. Kind of gives an indication that this is a really high yielding potato. Uh, seedling. And Bill Whitson was telling me that he doesn't like the highest yielding seedlings because he kind of tends to think that that leads to excessive growth and uh, growth defects like hollow heart and whatnot. So I gotta think about how how I grow my potatoes and if I'm making mistakes the way I'm selecting them. But it's just, I wanna try and get these dug as quickly as possible. Yeah, this is going to be a high yielding potato. It's already a high yielding potato. Man. I love digging these high yielders, even though, you know, pretty. These are clean, little bit of secondary, like you see a little nub in there, but they look nice so far. I didn't want to leave these in the ground much longer. So there's a stolen. So like this is where, this end was attached to the plant, right? That's, and that, and that went all the way over here. So we got, this, this is a crazy long stolenizing potato. So this one's another monster plant. This was a really big plant and uh, It'll be interesting to see what the yield is on this guy. Whoa. Are you seeing this? So this is... Okay, whoops, hit the camera. So, a lot of little chain tubers out here on the edge. Okay, I just cracked that one open. Looks like we got some pink flesh. Very, very pink skin, at least on these surface tubers. A lot of little ping pong ball sized, purple, fuchsia, magenta. You're seeing a, these ones look like this is gonna be, these ones are staying a lot tighter to the plant than that other big plant, which that turned out to be a monster. 
a monster. So, but I think, I think this one's going to give it a run for its money. That's for sure. Okay, we'll give it a shot here. It's kind of, you never know where to put your fork. If you're going to do a lot of damage or what. Sarpo. Okay, this is, this is a colossal, colossal plant. Oh my God. Okay, there's still a bunch over here. So I'm kind of proud of these because these are my own. Now, who are you? That's a pink splotchy orphan. I have no idea who that belongs to. These are, I won't call them my own breeding work, but this is, this row. Wow. What do you think of that? <laughs> God, I love doing these potatoes. They're just so much fun to dig. Oh my God. Freaking awesome, man. And ladies, let's not be. So yeah, there's another pink splotchy something or other, but that's a nice classic potato, isn't it? But, wow, this one actually beat beat that first one this is like it's kind of like wait there's more so I'm just gonna pick the camera off the tripod here So this is the, this guy we just dug, Monster. And then this was the first one. I would say both of these are vying for the record. And then one, two, three, and some orphans over there. So let's get, let's try something else. These, whoa, look at that. That's interesting. Maybe these guys have a, these are a little funny, odd shaped. These look, the shapes of these are giving me like some concerns that they might have a tendency towards. Whoa, I think, yeah, I think, I think I had a couple mixed up here. So this next door is more of the pink and splotchy. These guys are more straight up pink, straight up pink. That's a pretty good yield though. This is looking like a pretty nice potato also. Now. Uh, 
Let's see. See if we can get a money shot here. Wow, not bad. Little oblong, pink and white. They're cool looking. I like that pattern. And another good yield, very good yield. Very attractive, little potato. This one looks like it's either a white or a yellow. Um, that one looks a little green, but it doesn't feel frosted. I did toss a couple while I was scraping this off that were soft because they'd been frosted. Maybe it's a white and they were just, sorry, camera. Still, the stolons are still kind of alive. Doesn't seem to be skinning. This would be one of the first plain white seedlings out of this batch of seed. So they're looking a little, I don't, the shapes look a little, I've seen a lot of cracks and odd growth. That's, that's a pretty champion tuber from a seed, from a TPS seedling. So this guy wants to make great big tubers, which is probably not a good sign, you know, like, I'll definitely bring this one inside and see what it's like, but I would not be shocked at all to see a bunch of hollow heart in this potato. So this looks like another monster and my battery says it's dying. My camera just doesn't have the battery life that I would like. Um, can't really. These look kind of maybe that one's very frosted. I don't know what these are. These are frost. This one looks like it's yielding pretty high. They're a little odd. Kind of can't tell if they're white or they're very pale pink. Or maybe they're white. They're maybe they're a very s small, slight variation on that pink and white splotch. But there's a lot of potatoes under this plant, I think. So maybe I can get you a money shot before the battery dies.
So, that's not, so it's kind of, looks a little bit like it's got kind of a pink and white, sort of like Yogg Shagoth, like kind of a vague skin color. Really weird tubers. Uh, so this one, I would say this one has massive yield, but the yield is odd. The yield is very odd. So, so let me just do a tour of the ones we dug already. See what that gets us. So there's this pink and white rangey one we just got. Here's the pink one we just dug. Here's another pink and white. Actually, this one was a really pink and white knobbly compact one. Kind of long, bright pink ones. This is that first big one that we dug. Um, with that I had the flag on. There's a sort of large pink, kind of very light pink ones. Those guys are orphans over there. Um, pretty low yielding pink. I think this is the high yielder so far. So we'll see, see if I can get a couple more digs in before the battery dies. Okay, I just ranged these four highest yielding seedlings together. So this was the first one we dug. Um, this was that last one we dug. There's that pink and white, really round, splotchy one. And then this was that second pink one that we dug. I think that's gonna be an all-time record seedling. But all four of these are really, really impressive. So, and then we still got a lot of nice potatoes down there. So, yeah. Thank you, Nathan. This, you know, this batch of seed that you crossed with that bulk pollen mix has just been amazingly fun to grow. So I want to at least get this row in before dark, which is rapidly approaching. So if I don't get any more filming in, uh, thank you so much for watching.